Hi, I'm Craig, and I've been keeping swimming pools crystal clear for over 30 years. I want to clarify a topic that is often misunderstood or confusing when it comes to pool maintenance, and that's the truth about phosphates. These chemical compounds contain phosphorus or algae food, and there's been a long debate on if phosphates need to be treated or not. The debate is an interesting one because every pool and situation is different. I'm hoping this video will give you a better understanding of phosphates and help make the decision on when to treat and remove them easier. It is important to know that phosphates are not harmful to people. In fact, skin irritation is likely the biggest effect phosphates have on humans. Also, every swimming pool has or will have phosphates. They originate from the environment through rain, wind, groundwater, landscape fertilizer, and pool chemicals. Now, even though phosphates aren't harmful, they are still problematic. Phosphates can cause issues with your pool's water chemistry and clarity. High phosphate levels will use up chlorine much faster, and as the chlorine level drops, algae will begin to bloom. This process can happen very quickly. In fact, it's possible that your pool can be crystal clear one day and green or covered in algae the next. So, what to do about phosphates? It's true that if you monitor your chlorine level a few times a week, and add extra chlorine when needed, then phosphates do not need to be removed. And here lies the heart of the phosphate debate. To treat, or not to treat the phosphates, but simply monitor and maintain a high free chlorine reading. We advise that if you are able to test and maintain a good free chlorine level of three to five parts per million, the pool is clear and algae free, and no one using your pool is experiencing any skin irritation, you do not need to treat and remove the phosphate from your pool. However, if you're finding it difficult to monitor your pool that often, have a pool professional service only once a week, or are finding that you need to add an excessive amount of chlorine just to maintain the proper chlorine level, then treating and removing the phosphates is advised. This is why every situation is different and varies from pool to pool. As a pool professional that maintains pools on a weekly basis, it's for these reasons that we often recommend phosphate treatment to our customers. We know that the summer season is short in the Northeast, and if we encounter a pool with a high phosphate level, we often treat it rather than running the risk of a green pool by the next time we return the following week. So let's review. Phosphates are not harmful and they don't need to be removed if you are able to monitor the water chemistry two to three times a week and can maintain a free chlorine level of three to five parts per million. Phosphates should be treated and removed if your pool isn't maintaining a good free chlorine reading, if your pool isn't going to be tested and monitored throughout the week, or if you're someone who does not want to risk the pool turning green or not being swimmable. I hope that you found this video helpful. We welcome all of your questions and comments and hope you too have a crystal clear pool this season.